Module 3 Explaining Subtracting and Comparing How good are you at comparing and subtracting numbers? Let's talk through a few word problems so you get familiar with the language for comparing and subtracting numbers. Imagine that the oldest patient at the nursing home where you work is 105 years old. The youngest is 62. What is the difference between their ages? To find the answer, you need to subtract their ages. That is 105 minus 62. To find that answer, you first look at the ones column. Subtract two from five and you get three. Then in the tens column, you subtract six from 10 and get four. So the answer is 43. That is, the oldest patient is 43 years older than the youngest patient in your nursing home. Let's try another one. Mrs. Redman was weighed in her wheelchair. You know that her wheelchair weighs 30 pounds. Together, Mrs. Redman and the wheelchair weighed 220 pounds. To figure out Mrs. Redman's weight, you need to subtract the wheelchair weight from the total weight. That is 220 pounds minus 30 pounds. To find that answer, first look at the ones column. Zero minus zero is zero. Then you look at the tens column. So you'll need to carry a one over, so that makes it 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. Then in the hundreds column there is 1 left. Bring that down and Mrs. Redmond's weighs 190 pounds. Let's try one more. Your gross pay for two weeks is $1,500. The deductions taken from your pay total $375. What is your net pay? To figure out what you take home, you'll need to subtract your deductions from your gross pay. That is 1500 minus 375 will equal your net pay. To find that answer, you'll need to do some carrying. You'll need to carry a 1 from the tens column to the ones. 10 minus 5 equals 5. You'll need to carry a one from the hundreds column to the tens column. Remember, you only have nine left after carrying over that 10. So that's nine minus seven, which is two. And in the hundreds column, you took one from the five, so that leaves you with four. And four minus three is one. And in the thousands column, just carry that one down. So your net pay is 1,000. 125. Now take a look at this table. This table is set up to compare the number of staff, volunteers and beds in different Covenant Health hospitals in Edmonton. Take a look at the staff column. Which hospital has the most staff? That's right, the Grey Nuns Hospital has the most staff. Which hospital has the least staff? That's right, St. Joseph's has the least staff. Now, what is the summary range of staff numbers? You could say that the number of staff in Edmonton hospitals ranges from 411 to 2,793. Okay, look at the volunteers column. Compare the number of volunteers in the Edmonton General and the Misericordia.
That's right, the Edmonton General has more volunteers than the Misericordia. Look again at the volunteers column. What is the range of volunteers in Edmonton hospitals? You need to find the smallest number and the largest number. So can you complete the following sentence? The number of volunteers in Edmonton hospitals ranges from two That's right, the number of volunteers in Edmonton hospitals ranges from 235 at St. Joseph's to 599 at the Grey Nuns. Now take another look at the table. Is there anything surprising there? Look at the number of staff at the Edmonton General in comparison to the number of staff at other hospitals. Now, look at the number of beds. In the next activity, you will do some subtracting to compare more of these numbers. Okay, let's get started.